welcome back to Positive Life. So for the last two years, I, I've been st uh, strict with uh, wearing masks, keeping my distance from people, and um, just not getting out there uh, in like big gatherings, like going to concerts or um, um, other places like where there's a lot of people. And even when I'm walking my dog, um, I will have conversations with people a bit. But I kind of keep my distance, so, so I don't like, um, I'm just not as trusting because I, you know, I have older parents and I want to be careful. But then a lot of times online, um, people are always trying to push to like, uh, don't get your, your vaccines or don't wear a mask and you don't need it. And is this the flu and all that? I could tell you that it is not just, it's not the flu, it's much stronger. I'm telling you because like in 2019 I got really sick for about a few months at the end of 2019 I was I was uh, coughing up liquids and it was like the the worst illness I ever had it was for like two months and, and when I went to the VA I think it was 2020 February and I had just come back from Sundance and I was sick a second time where it was hard for me to breathe and I just had so many bad symptoms I was coughing for like two months and coughing I just couldn't stop coughing and I just looked like people were saying I was like patient zero that um, I was doing really bad and I wasn't sleeping good and I had little energy it was hard to breathe and uh, so so I had that problem and then and then I just started wearing masks and I was very cautious uh, with who I was around and uh, wearing masks and people would always make comments saying like why are you wearing a mask you're outdoors or you're hiking and the air is fresh and all that and people think you know like oh you can't catch anything there's nothing going on and then online like in social media there's some people that like to push it like some uh say failed actors or people that seem like they they need that attention because they're nobody in the industry like they've never established themselves and and they just want to um have that edge of like okay it's all conspiracy you don't wear a mask don't get your vaccines. So, so for two years, uh, I was extra careful because I have older parents, uh, as I mentioned, and um, and I don't want to get anyone else sick, you know, because I'm around other people. And I was always cautious. So, recently, about two and a half weeks ago, my my youngest brother, um, first time I saw him in, in a long time, like eight years, and. And he was, um, I saw him in eight years and the cat's blocking my light. <laughs> you could tell him. And, um, so my brother, uh, visited, uh, for the first time in eight years and he was, he, he was in, um, so he drove to Colorado from Colorado to to California and he worked and he was on a work trip and he had another uh, co-writer that was working with him as well and um, something happened along the way and we would all meet up on a Sunday and um, I, I remember my dad saying like he didn't like trust that he was coming over because my brother had COVID a year before in 2020 December and my dad didn't, uh, you know, trust that. He was like, I don't want him here and all that. But then my mom was like, no, no, it's okay. Like, um, it's okay, you know, because he hasn't been over in a while and it's going to be good and there's nothing wrong with him. And uh, so he comes around and he goes and visits my middle brother first um, to go see his kid and his girlfriend. And he's like, oh, it was so nice to meet them and everything. And he was all like excited. He got to meet them in person. And um, first time, and um, <clears throat> he goes to the house the next day on Sunday, and uh, we all gather up and, um, you know, we see him and all that. And my dad was like, he doesn't look good. Like, he looks like he's sick or something. And he said he was okay, though, because he does the vape and all that, and he's coughing. But I was like, is there something wrong with him? Because the way that he sounded and stuff, the way he looked and all that. So, um so I stayed on a Sunday and a Monday, and then I briefly returned home 
And then I went back again the next day to take my dad to an appointment. And I remember my dad saying, um, could you roll the window up because it's kind of chilly? He goes, I'm like, I had the chills and he had the heat on. And I was like, wow, it's like uncomfortable driving, you know, because he wanted the windows all the way up and with the heat on and it was hot. He said he felt like cold and stuff. And I was like, okay, something's going on. And then he started coughing. And then we went to our the appointment and everything, and then we went to go eat. And we were, um, you know, having a decent day. And then he he comes back, sleeps for a few hours. And he looks like he's tired. And then I remember him saying like, "Go get me some food, go to this restaurant, get this food, and all that." And I remember sitting across from him, and then he was saying something like, "I got this like congestion in my chest and stuff." So I don't know what's going on. I have a congestion. And then he was tired earlier. And then he was coughing earlier, right? So, and then, <clears throat> and then I leave to, to drive back home. And, and I started getting like the sore throat. And it was like this scratchy. It was like this really weird sore throat. And I just knew something was going on. I was like, something's going on. Like I have the sore throat. And, and then I was just like, huh, like, so, so then I went to bed and then I just started burning up. Like I was having night sweats and I was, my throat was on fire. I had body aches, eyes hurt. Like I was just, I, I was tired. I, I just knew, I was like, I made sure I threw a mask on. I said, everybody stay away from me. And, uh, and then that's when I started, you know, I was sick for like a week. And um, so for one week, um, I had my symptoms and everything and then and then after I was done being sick then I wanted to go get tested. So my, my brother, middle brother, he went to go get tested and then my dad together and then they so so the younger brother that came over, he went back to Colorado and then he tested positive for COVID. And then he told us, I said, Did you get tested? And he said, Yeah, and then he was positive. So and then he got sick. And um so, so my dad and um, my middle brother went to go get tested, and the next day they, they were positive too. So, so I went and got tested on a Thursday, and uh, on a Friday night I was positive. So, so be careful out there because <clears throat> I was very careful. And I was always getting blamed. My dad was always like, you're going to bring COVID here and you're going to kill us. And, and he was always pointing the finger at me, giving me yelling at me and giving me a hard time about it. And I said, I'm not gonna bring COVID, I'm careful. And he just like was always blaming me. And I was always cautious, even when I was in the hospital, um, um, visiting him. And I was always careful. So I drove home and I started getting this uh, really scratchy throat. Like my throat started feeling weird and it was something different. It wasn't like a cold or like the flu or anything. You just knew, you knew that you were exposed to something, you felt it. And it was almost like you knew it was something different. And so I went home and then I fell asleep that night. Then I, then I started to burn up. My eyes hurt my body was aching. My throat was like on fire. I felt like I was on fire, I was so hot. And I just didn't, I, I felt so sick. I felt really sick, not like two years prior, but I felt pretty sick. And I just told everybody, stay away from me. I wore a mask. And it was important because the mask is not about like, okay, you know, when people are like, I don't know why you wear those masks because they don't protect you and all that. They think it's about um, protection for, for people. They think that people are paranoid wearing a mask and that um, it doesn't do anything for you and and you're you're wasting your time wearing the mask. Okay, think about it. So I have COVID and and I wear like an N ninety five because I'm protecting others because even after my symptoms are gone and then a few you know, like after five days and then, you know, I had some residual like where it was kinda of hard to breathe and stuff. Um or like you feel like you, you kind of have like a shaky breathing, like where you're kind of like trembling a little like to, to breathe, like your lungs. And, and then you go get tested. So 
you get exposed to it on a Sunday. So you got Sunday. So the initial exposure was on a Sunday without you knowing it. And then all of a sudden Monday hits and, and you haven't got sick yet, but you got exposed. And then, and then you go to an appointment with your, you know, I, I, well, with my dad to his appointment. And then he was coughing around in the car and stuff. So he wasn't the, the, the one that um, spread it. It, it was my brother that brought it from, from wherever he got it from, whether it's in Reno or somewhere in, um, in like Lake Tahoe area or somewhere where he was working because he was wearing a neck gaiter and that doesn't offer any protection. He was saying it, it, it worked for him for the last year, but he did something along the way. He let his guard down and he acquired the virus. He got the virus and then he came and spread it to like several people. And I, I, I've been around so many people, but I was very cautious. And all those times I went hiking with a mask on and I had to struggle to do um, breathe a little, you know, because it was hot and some nights it was cold and I just always wore a mask. And I like, I, it's like I tortured myself to, to be safe, to, to protect others because it kind of shows like, okay, I mean, we all have to wear masks and stuff. Let's wear it because we don't know who's sick and who's not, right? So, so if somebody is sick and they have the mask on, there's a better chance that if they're not coughing or sneezing and all that, there's a better chance that you're not gonna like get exposed to them. It offers that extra protection. So it's good that if they're wearing a mask and you wear a mask, it's not that we don't know who's infected because how would I know, say on that Sunday that I got exposed to COVID-19 well, when I didn't feel sick, but I was exposed to it for my brother. So everyone got exposed to it, but nobody knew that they were sick. And then a couple of days later, like on let's say a Tuesday night, um, then everyone's getting sick. Like everyone's like getting really sick and I didn't cough or sneeze, but I had all the other symptoms. And, um, and it still stayed in my system because I got it. So apparently I probably got it on a Sunday and then Monday. So then I was sick the whole week until the next week on, on a Sunday, Monday, I was starting, you know, I was sleeping a lot, sleeping, you know, uh, 10 to 16 hours a day, like just sleeping a lot. And you, you just knew that I was sick and I, you know, I masked up and I didn't get around nobody and stuff. So I was very cautious for, for other people, but then people are going to use that against you. Like, Oh, it's like virtue uh, signaling because you're being cautious because you're wearing a mask because you have COVID-19. I mean, it's like, yeah, like, Oh, so you're going to walk around without a mask and you're not going to care. You have to care because that stuff is highly contagious. And is this how when people go around talking and stuff and they don't know what the hell they're talking about saying like, it's, this is the flu, it's the cold, it's not just the flu, it's not the cold, it's this, it's a virus, a respiratory virus, and it's real, and it will get you sick. And I am, I have my vaccines, so maybe I didn't get as sick as I did um, two years prior when it was kind of new, and it wasn't really like talked about, and it was, it was something that was spreading around early on where they didn't discuss it because it was really new. Um, and um, you just knew that before, like two years prior, that you had something really bad. And you're like, what is this? I never had something like this before. And it was like, you were coughing up like liquid and stuff. And it was just like, it was bad. Like, like you couldn't get, you couldn't shake it off. And um, and then you finally do it. And then you kind of deal with like, when you're trying to do push ups or work out or do like hiking or certain things and you're just out of breath. Like you can't even do like 30 minute exercises like of like, not you know like those exercises you do that don't require weights so you do like a 30 minute exercise like um doing push-ups or cer certain type of resistance exercise and then you can't even catch your breath because you're so out of breath because you you had this illness for like two months so, so that was a couple years ago right so then this recent time um i did have my vaccines uh, in the springtime so maybe I didn't get hit as hard, but it wasn't something that was light. I mean, it was probably like a two compared to the two years ago, which was a 10, but it was still like a lot of symptoms and it still got me down. And I slept a lot. I averaged almost like 11 hours a day for, for, for that week. So uh, I didn't have any more symptoms anymore after Sunday, 
but I still wore my mask and I still was cautious and um, didn't get around people and everything and made sure, you know, I wasn't coughing or sneezing and just made sure that I was very um, careful, you know, like always wash my hands and, and uh, I don't leave germs anywhere or anything. Even like got rid of my toothbrush, got a new toothbrush and all that. And then, so then I heard my brother and my dad got tested on a Tuesday and then on a Wednesday they got, they were positive. So this is like a week, uh, ten, a week and a half later and they're testing positive after already being sick and getting, you know, I mean, they had some residual effects of like, of still feeling sick. And, and then I go get test on a Thursday. So this is a week and a half later. And then I get, and then I'm positive. I'm positive. I find out on a Friday night, like last Friday night, like a, a week and a half ago that, um, that I had it, that I was positive for it. And this is like, almost like 11 days after exposure and I was already sick and I was better and then I still had COVID-19, I was still positive. So when people tell you you can't get it or it's just a cold or it's a flu, then don't listen to these people because they don't care and they just wanna like have some type of power and freedom. They think that they wanna push that off to people and say like, oh, it's a cons conspiracy and that uh, it's no um, virus out there and and is this fake and they're pumping up the numbers? I can tell you that it is because I've gotten sick twice, but this time I tested positive. I've never tested positive for it. And I know when you get a cold and when you get a flu and when, when you get this COVID-19. So stop listening to those people online, the ones that tell you don't wear a mask because if I wore a mask, maybe uh, if I didn't trust my brother and I said, okay, I'm gonna wear like N95, I don't care. Then I would have had a greater chance of not getting it, but maybe I would have been around my dad because he, he kind of like is not, um, he wears masks and all that, but when he starts coughing or certain things, he don't cover his mouth and all that. So then I probably would eventually got it from him. So it's kind of hard because sometimes your family could, uh, you know, put you in a bad situation because they're not careful. Careful in a way of like, they want to blame everyone and say that somebody's going to bring it or somebody's going to do this and that. And then it ends up being the, the person that you kind of expected that would do it. You were trying to be fair to them and then they, they brought it to you and stuff but after a couple of weeks of so two weeks after exposure and then you're already just sick and everything tested positive and then now you allowed to i mean you're allowed to move around and stuff because they say because the, the public health will contact you and they say five days after your symptoms so five days after your symptoms that you could you know move around and stuff that you still have to wear a mask right so um it's not, but if you uh, are, um, you don't have any symptoms, then then it's, uh, and then you test, then, then it's gonna be after your test, so five days after your test. Then, then they recommend wearing a mask, like, after that, too. But wearing a mask, even during the time, you know, the moment you, you test. But when you have symptoms, then you know, like, hey, like, I know I was exposed, so it's easier to detect they say okay i was exposed on this day so it's good to know okay on this particular day i was exposed for a couple of days to this virus that somebody had and then i'm gonna have my symptoms and then it's gonna knock me out you know knock me down and stuff so you kind of get pinpoint that when you got exposed so then you know that okay i'm gonna be careful i'm not gonna be around people like extra cautious and um especially the you know when i see my parents they have an older uh, population in the area and stuff and they like to be nice and all that so imagine talking to them and and, and giving them something because well, you're you're contagious uh, 